Hello, hello. Guess who's back in Paris? Okay, so I genuinely don't know where to start. I was in Cannes for work for a bit, um, and then right after Cannes, and then right after Cannes came to Paris. And I have to say, it's been kind of an emotional roller coaster, but I think just like going to my old spots and just seeing and just kind of like remembering, hello, and just remembering, you know, the minds that I was in a year ago when I was living here versus now, it's like I'm so grateful for the growth, for the evolution, and just who I am today. So it's been, um, it's been, it's been really nice to reflect back on that and even just reconnecting with people. So I'll, I'll insert it in this vlog, but I just, but I had like an hour before I had to check into my hotel and I walked by my old hairdresser, my old hair salon, and I saw that my hairdresser was there and I walked in and like, we both just started crying, like full on tears. We're just so excited to see each other. Natalie? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, I'm really gonna cry. Oh, yeah, that was just a really beautiful, special moment because, you know, she doesn't really speak English that well. And, you know, I'm working on my French. And I think it was just beautiful to see how two people came together without like fluently knowing each other's languages, but still have that love for each other. It was a really, really beautiful moment. And now I am off to Galleries Lafayette. I kind of want to do a little bit of shopping. Then I want to sit by Tuileries Garden. Um, but yeah, we'll chat more. About to hop on the subway right now. This lighting. Okay. I like forget how quiet Paris is. And y'all know I am loud AF, so I'm like kind of trying to whisper right now. It's also crazy. I've never been self conscious vlogging, but I feel like everyone's staring at me. And actually, while I'm on the train, let's rewind to last night, which was my very first night back in Paris. I saw my two good friends, Sri and Wei. It was so good to catch up and see them. And also, we had the best Korean food of my life. Oh my god, this restaurant is so good. Literally cannot believe. Back to Paris. 
together in yes. Paris. <laughs> and we just ordered, because Lay recommended the rice drink <laughs> that apparently is about to mess us all up. <laughs> Time to get high. Time to get. Yeah, because you guys call it high in India. Like yeah. Yeah. But no, because my friend, my best friend Sim would always say hi to you. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, yeah. It's already coming in. Yes, <laughs> Do I just want seriously the We just ordered so much food. Do not judge. For like 10 people. No, honestly, <laughs> like the amount of food that we ordered could be could feed like a family of seven, I think. Yeah. But also look at the diversity. Ready? Life is too. <laughs> Did you miss the vlog? Did you miss me always popping out with my camera? We ordered so much food. But I'm okay, like I'm not super full yet. I'm all these are all vegetables. Yum. Yes. That looks so good. Like I'm so happy right now. This food is what I've missed. Yes. What am I gonna All do, right. guys? Come back more often. Yeah. You need to be where you can eat stuff. Yeah. That's why I'm saying I feel like I'm gonna have to like split my time. You need to have one long-term apartment in Paris. One long-term apartment. In Paris. You should buy one apartment in Paris and one apartment in LA. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> Back at the Louvre. Oh my god. And how special that our very last night in Paris together, we came to the Louvre. It was like this exact same thing except it was cold. Yeah. <laughs> so, so how ironic. Like you, last day you went and first day you were back. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is the spot. And the best letter you're back. Yeah. Amazing. Oh. The magical summer nights. Nothing beats summer nights in Paris, honestly. Nothing. Let's walk around. a microphone too. Okay, it's recording. <laughs> Sorry, I ate too much. <laughs> tell me, tell me where to stand. There's the Europe store. <laughs> Getting the Insta photos. <laughs> Tiff and her camera crew. Okay, should I? I'm gonna pose like I'll go like this. Cute. And just keep snapping and I'll just keep like posing. You don't say. <laughs> Oh gosh, oh Paris. I um, got off the train and wanted to get like a weekly Metro pass. I get the pass and she's like, oh, you have to put your picture on it. And I was like, uh, like even for the weekly one. So I had to sit at the little photo booth, got the wrong size picture, of course. But um, that took like another, but that took a good 20 minutes. Wait till you see the picture that's on my Metro card. It is comical. <laughs> it's like a blown up picture of my face that I had to cut out. Oh, Lord Jesus, take the wheel. That's something to note when you're coming to Paris. If you want to get a weekly pass for the Metro or a monthly pass, they'll usually make you, well, not usually, they will have you take a picture, put it on the pass, and also write your name. You're welcome. And at first I was asking her, like, oh, do I have to, like, get stopped by the police? And as an FYI, back in the day when I lived here, um, I don't know what happened, but my picture fell off my Metro card and the police stopped me because sometimes they do like random screenings in the Metro and um, my picture wasn't on there and I got fined 50 euros. Ooh, I was hot. I was hot. So if 
you're coming here, if you're getting one of the Metro passes, make sure to put your picture on your pass and keep your picture on your pass. But um, anyways, now I'm off to Galleries Lafayette. I just want to check out a few things in here. And then um, hopefully I can make it to Tuileries Garden in a bit. I think I can go in this way. Let's see. And this, does, is this adjustable? Yes, we can do adjusting the both sides. Okay. And after you can also take out. Okay. I'm obsessed with this bag. for that one spot and we never found it. <laughs> uh, you were a trooper because you really, you really wanted me to find the spot. Yeah, I remember, I remember very well. Oh my God, and then we got so tired. Remember we just like had food somewhere. That was great. And I was walking around with my tripod, do you remember? Yeah. I was so determined. Hold on. I was so, oh my God, that day was, I was like, we need to find this exact spot. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, I missed her! My Keisha! <laughs> I still can't believe it. <laughs> Me too, a actually. A year ago. Yeah, it's been already a year. Oh, it's crazy, and I don't know if you guys remember, but how me and Keisha met was like kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Like honestly, every time I think about the story, it's like, how does this happen? Yeah. It's you the, know? The magic of Paris. The magic of Paris. I was on the train on the way to get my hair, get my hair products, and Keisha, I, I think I got off the platform, mm -hmm. and you came up to me speaking in French, and I was like, girl, I don't know <laughs> what you're saying. So then she switched into English, and I think you were just like, where did you, how do you do your hair? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I'm going to the hair store now. Do you want to come with me? And she came, and the rest is history. Yeah. And you were so sweet. You were like, if you ever need anything in Paris, like, let me know, because I was just some... Um, little American who didn't know anything. <laughs> yes, you, you, you were so American. Mm. And we've been friends ever since. Yeah, so funny. Oh. Oof, guys. It was so good to see Keisha. It's crazy that I haven't seen these people in like over a year. And the second I see them, it's like no time has passed. We pick up right where we left off. It honestly feels like I never left. And um, right now I'm at the Luxembourg Gardens, the Jardin du Luxembourg. Super cute and pretty and amazing here. It's a vibe, but um, I feel like I have to catch you up and I'm so sorry if this vlog is a hot mess. I've just been running around Paris, seeing all my people, making all my stops, 
also working at the same time, which is kind of nice that I can work remote from here. Um, so apologies in advance if this is, so apologies in advance if this vlog is a hot mess, but y'all know I had to bring you the content. But yeah, guys, I probably said this already, but it does feel really good to be back. It honestly feels like I never left. Could I see myself living here again full time? I'm not sure, but I do think it's in the cards for me to come back for an extended amount of time each year. That's definitely something that I'd be open to. Um, I don't know, I just, I miss the way of life here. I miss the food, I miss the people. I most certainly, I most definitely miss my friends. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just feel like Paris will always be a big part of me in some way, like it was a, huge chapter in my life I feel like it was my chapter of evolution it's you know the chapter where I kind of came into myself I guess you could say I just learned so much here I went through so much here and I think that's another thing like going to my different spots it's like bringing up so many emotions and so many different memories of just either what happened at a certain place or what I experienced or again just like thinking back to my mindset at that time and how different it is from my mindset now. Like I definitely feel a lot more positive and happier and grounded, but um, it does feel really great to be back. My face with one of my faves. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Guys, believe I'm back at my favorite. Gumbo Yaya. I'm so sad Lionel isn't here, but it's so crazy. I walked in. I walked in and Sri can vouch for me. I walked in and he was like, What's your name? The 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 chef. Yeah. The chef was like, What's your name? And I was like, Tiffany. And he was like, Oh my god, people are still coming here because of your videos. Yep. You made them famous. <laughs> That makes me so happy. Please keep going and if you, please keep coming here and if you do come, tell them that I sent you. God, if you'd like any waffles. <laughs> and we have two other things coming. Yum. <laughs> oh my God, mm. yo. Mm. Do you like it? I love it. You can never go wrong with fried chicken. Right? Have you had like American fried chicken yet? Um, where? Well, because because I feel like the 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 chicken the fried chicken you've had what has it been like more Korean fried chicken? Mm. But I used to be a big mm. fan of KFC. Mm, okay. Which probably comes close, right? Finally. Mm. Do they have KFC in India? They do. Because in India, chicken is big, remember? But like fried chicken? Yeah. I mean, KFC 
could break in because of fried chicken because McDonald's had their like beef burgers which is not a big thing in India so they had to do like all this alternative but my like, KFC fit in because it's chicken it works oh wait yeah in wait so in India mm -hmm. eating beef isn't really a thing no because I didn't know the that cow is holy it's a holy cow oh Restaurant. We literally just walked in and they let us sit down and there's like a man about to play the piano. It's pretty fancy, super chic. Nick knows all the places. In, in, my area, my in the seven errand. No, but it is like it is the place to be. And you were saying a lot of people come here, right? Like it's well known. And it's called what is it called again? We can't I'll find it and I'll put it in the description or I'll put it on the screen, but we are very happy to be here. This is so nice. I'm so glad we did this. It was just like, oh my god, we could try it. Yum! That was like great. Yeah, hopefully that one is. I don't think that one's for us. Oh. Yum! Thank you. There she is. Back at the Eiffel. Me and Nick decided to take a little stroll. I can't believe I'm back. So before we get into the rest of the Paris content, so what you just saw was the first Paris trip. I was there for about a week, then did a little trip around Europe and came back to Paris for a few days. So after that week in Paris, I went to London because I honestly had never really spent much time there and really wanted to check it out and get a feel for it. I think the last time I was there, I was there for like two days or something like that. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to London this time. That was super fun. Then after that, I went to Berlin to see one of my really good friends, Nika who I actually met in Paris. So I was so excited to see her and explore Berlin more because similar to London, I had only been in Berlin for like two days and I was actually there for work when I was working in Paris. So really wanted to spend some time there. Um, and honestly, Berlin is such a vibe. I kind of feel like it's Paris's cooler older sister. So that was such a good time. And then after Berlin, I went to Ibiza with a few friends. So yo girl said Euro trip okay i was like if i'm going all the way to europe i'm gonna make the most of it and i i really did and honestly being in ibiza was fun i mean for me personally i liked more of the more relaxing things like sitting on the beach having a boat day and then after ibiza i went back to paris so let's dive back into the paris content
Paris. Um, but I am only here for two nights. So yesterday I flew in from Spain. I'm here for two nights and then I leave. Um, and then I leave to go back to LA on Sunday. Guys, it's wild. Like, it's been... This year trip has been such a blessing. Like, I am so grateful and so happy that I did this trip all, all over Europe. So, um, I don't know how much I'm showing you guys in this vlog yet, but, um, I was... But to catch you up, I was in Cannes for work. Then right after Cannes, came to Paris for a bit. Then went to London, then went to Berlin, then went to Ibiza, and now I'm back in Paris. Did I skip any cities? No, I think that those were, yeah, those were the main ones. Um, but yeah, it has, this trip has been amazing, but honestly, like, after doing everything and coming back to Paris, like, oof, I've missed the city so much. I really missed it so much. Like, it really does feel like a part of me in so many ways. Um, and please excuse my voice. I feel like I lost my voice. There's just been a lot going on on this trip. Um, I, I genuinely do feel like Paris is like a second home for me, like my home away from home. And I can totally see myself spending more time here. So this is definitely not the last of Tiff in Paris. I think right now I'm just, I love the freedom and flexibility of living in the States, having my home base be in the States and being able to travel and, you know, spend extended amount of time and spend an extended amount of time in Europe. Um, that right now feels the, that right now feels the most aligned for me, but let's see, let's see y'all. I don't know. And although I've loved every city that I've gone to, my time in Paris has just made my heart so happy. And I don't know if it's just because it feels familiar and it's like I go to my different places and I'm kind of like reliving different memories and things like that. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but it really does feel so good to be here. So just wanted to share that with you. But um, right now I am headed to the Louvre. Um, Honestly, these last few, these these two days in Paris are going to be very chill. I'm seeing a few friends, but um, I kind of just want to roam the streets and be a flaneur, which is so funny because the word flaneur was on my, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but the word flaneur was on my vision board for the longest, even when I lived in Paris, and it's basically just, actually, let me get the exact definition for you. Person who A person who lounges or strolls around in a seamless, aimless way. I don't know, I just feel like now, th that's what the word means, but I say that because I feel like now I just want to like take in all that Paris is and just stroll aimlessly, like I don't know guys, I, I genuinely, like my last few years in Paris I was so stressed all the time, I, I feel like I wasn't really able to do that in peace and now that I'm feeling more grounded I feel like I can do these things. I know it might sound crazy but it's just genuinely how I feel. Like. I was just so stressed out, was so worried about like what I was doing and where my life was going and now I just feel like I have, I don't know, I just feel, I just feel so grounded and I feel so at ease and I feel so much more like myself now where I can kind of be at peace and roam the streets and do all the things. So, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm planning to spend the next or today and tomorrow doing in Paris. Um, and would love for you guys to join me for my last few days in Paris. Um, but yeah, I, I have a feeling you'll, you'll be definitely seeing more of me here. Anyways, let's go. It is one o'clock. I am meeting a friend around five, six, around five, six PM. And just wanted to sit by the Louvre, maybe sit by Tuileries. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where the day takes me. It's so nice um, being in this area. So this is the area that I'm staying in and like seeing all these spots. So this area, um, Montreuil, I always I always pronounce it wrong, but this is where I kind of had like one of my first bigger photo shoots in Paris. Uh, this is the cafe that I sat at. I'm gonna show you guys. 
So it's this cafe right here where I had one of my first where I had one of my first photo shoots in Paris. That day was crazy. We literally shot all day. We started here and then I think we went up to the 18th and I think we went to the 18th, but oh, oh my god. Being on the street is just bringing back so many memories. Oh my god, it is freaking hot AF. It keeps getting super cool, then like super hot. And right now it is hot and people are out here. I did get a few cute shots until this bee tried to kick me out of the loop, but it's all right. When I say bee, I mean like an actual bee, like the insect. I'm very afraid of bees. I'm not allergic, but I'm very afraid of them because I got stung multiple times when I was a kid. So yeah, anytime I see a bee, I'm running. But I made it to the Louvre. I was just chilling for a little bit, just listening to music, enjoying the sights. I'm low-key trying to see if I can make it to the Eiffel Tower before I have to meet my friend, but I'm not sure. Oh, to be back at the Louvre. Hello, it's been a minute, my fellows. I've been trying to make my name well known. First they was telling me get the hit long. Now I get the room jumping higher than the ceiling. Just jiggle they melons. Catch me in your city, really my bus kind of swell on. Bando begging out your flick of their drums. You listen, put it on my chip run. My city gon' love it. Flocking for the feature that's gon' put you over budget. Hold up, shout out Jermaine. I just want my shot to play. All the miserable days when all of my visual were great. Trying to follow my heart, result of minimal pay. I'm starting to separate because my love propelling my wave. See, Broke or richer, I'm so consistent Cause head doctors ain't free, dog. I'm telling you, I done leveled up My propellers put me ahead of you I circle back after I finish, watch me winning Hold up, tell me what it feel like I've been on the road, but I still write I've been missing home when it been like I've been getting on, and it feel right I hope we still good, we both got real life Just know I'm forever there, though we still tight I'm forever there, though we still tight Just know I'm forever there Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're oh, it's hooked. Where yeah. is it hooked? Oh, it's hooked on here. It's hooked on here. Okay. And also, so you can take it up this one. Uh huh. Yeah, and after it, make it shorter. Okay. And the first one, I wonder if we could hook it there. Um, or no? Uh, we can try. We could try. Let's see how this one looks. Yeah. Like after, it. yeah, it's just it's not the. Uh, if you have a cold, yeah, it might it's a, be a yeah. Bit shorter. For um, sure, after it's gonna be more and more. Uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Do you think we should try putting this yeah, sure. okay. in the show? That's for every option. We are still discovering those all the time. I know. I'm still. <laughs> I know. I'm like. I'm still trying to figure out which. This oh, that bag's cute too. Mm. Well, let's try. <laughs> Obsessed with this bag. I think this is where I was wearing the other one. Very cute. So I wasn't filming as much. I tried my best. But it's a lot when you just want to like live in the moment, but also share your experience. These look great. Ready? Cheers! Merci. Yum. Pasta. I got the entrecote. Entrecote. How do you pronounce it? Entrecote. Entrecote. With sauce au poivre, my favorite type of sauce that I can only eat in Paris because I can't have any dairy in the United States. With some frites and bread for the table. And people watching. I'm so happy.
it's the next day. Today is my last day in Paris and the very last day of this Euro trip. I am getting really sick, but I'm trying not to think about it. My body is healthy, my body is whole. I honestly think I'm just super run down from like all the traveling and uh, my body's like, have a seat. Um, but I can't believe this is the last day of the trip. Um, so I think right now I'm gonna go grab some brunch. I think I might just go to Cafe Le Namor, you know, that cute cafe that I love sitting at. Might go there, grab some lunch, and then hopefully finally decide on this purse that I want. I really love the Prada one. I really love it, so let's see. Um, but yeah, that's what's on the agenda for today. So I'm just about to head out now. Oh my God, my nose is running. So yeah, I'm, I'm just about to head out now. Oh, Paris. Paris has been missed. Guys, this is crazy, 333. I see this angel number everywhere. OMG. And actually, now that I think of it, I also wanted to try and go to my old hood in Paris. Well, actually both old hoods. I really wanted to go to the one across the street. But I, I really wanted to go to like my very first apartment in Paris in the 15th arrondissement. It's just a little far, so I'm not sure if I'll have time. And then I'm definitely going to the 18th because I left a suitcase with one of my friends because um, I had to buy another suitcase just because I had so much stuff and didn't want to lug it all around Europe. So I'm definitely going to the 18th to see my old apartment one last time, see my friend, say bye to my hairdresser. Um, so yeah, we kind of have a jam-packed day today, <laughs> but um, if I can make it to the 15th to show you where I, um, to show you where my first apartment in Paris was, I would love to do that. So let's see. Made it. The Bollywood sandwich, I had this before with one of my friends and it was really good, so wanted to get it again. Last time at my apartment. many memories here. Mine was the one all the way at the top with the wraparound balcony. That one right up there was mine. I don't know if it's right there. And now I really want to go in but I have a feeling they're gonna be like who is this girl? Because if it was me I'd probably be like no. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I want to go in. Last coffee with Sri. Not phased, not phased by me doing this now. Mm. So I, I left a bag with her, guys, because I was like, there's no way I'm like lugging all of the stuff around Europe. So we're having a quick coffee. I'm gonna go get my bag and then hopefully also get my Prada bag. Yeah, you will. <laughs> so basically I didn't get it earlier because they busted out a nylon version, and now I'm not sure if I want the nylon or the leather. Which one did you say? Leather. Leather. And the leather ones. I think you are getting this that not me. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I think I'm gonna go with the leather one. I'm so torn. I just don't want to ruin it. That's my I only thing. I influenced you. <laughs> You'll be fine. Do you think like, so? You're not gonna go hiking with it. So. I know. <laughs> Because my mom and my best friend were like, ooh, the nylon's so cute, like the ni like nylon. It's more but now I'm like, and whatever, but like, you know, it's gonna, you, you'll grow out of it. 
but the leather yeah. will be forever. But leather will be forever. Yeah. I kind of agree. Nylon, I feel like it's trendy and it's like the 90s thing right now. Yeah, 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 totally. Okay, I think I've made my decision. <laughs> Back at La Samaritan to get this bag. Heading to Prada. Prada. The nylon. It's also super cute. And then I wanted to compare it to the leather one. This is the leather one. I mean, they look so similar. On the shoulder. Very cute. And then this is the longer way. Can sit on my hip like that. Guys, I got my bag. I'm like, I don't know if I want to do like a cute little unboxing now or when I get to the States. Although you guys have already seen the bag, but still, I want to do something cute. I'm so happy right now. And FYI, guys, when you buy luxury in France, and I believe in Europe in general, especially when it's like, when you buy, this is what I should say, when you buy French luxury or European luxury, in France and I'm pretty sure in all of Europe it tends to be less expensive because you don't have to pay for like the import fees and things like that which is really nice and then on top of that you get if you pay by card you get a 12% tax refund back so typically or at least I know for the bag that I got it's a thousand I end up paying a thousand dollars less by buying it here versus if I were to buy it in the States little tip for you. Okay, so today is my very last day in Paris. I, um, I woke up early to go to the bakery to grab some pastries and sandwiches for the plane ride home because this plane ride back to LA is literally 12 hours or 11 hours and 40 minutes so I'm about to stock up on all the things um it said that there were a few bakeries that were open it's like 8 a.m right now on a Sunday so sometimes it's hard to find things open this early or even open at all on Sundays but thank Jesus and baby Jesus they have some open today I don't want to leave. Guys, this trip was so fun. I'm really sad that it's coming to an end, but it just makes me happy and excited for the next time I visit. Oh my God, I was so happy that I found a bakery. Oh, so good, I got all the things. And then after that, oh my God. So 333 literally follows me everywhere. Everywhere, guys. So then after that, I went to um, a pharmacy. The French pharmacies are bomb and the prices are a lot lower than um, in the United States. And then after that, just kind of strolled through Paris. But honestly, guys, this trip was a 10 out of 10. This is not the last of tip in Paris. Thank you so much for watching and being on this journey with me. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment below a croissant. Thanks so much for watching. I love you so much and see you in the next video. Bye.